Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about one more topic in operating system that is the types of system calls. So in the previous session, we have discussed about this system calls. What is the system calls and uh, how this system call works, right? So first, uh, let us recall the previous concept that is a system call. A system call will act as an interface between the software applications and the kernel. So if any program is being executed and if it requires any resource, so immediately it will interrupt. That means in the form of system call, it will interact with the kernel so that the kernel will provide whatever the resource it requires from the operating system to the application programs. So this is a system call. So there are different types of system calls. So in this session, we'll discuss about uh, different types of system calls. So first I'll list out the categories. The first one is process control system calls, process control system calls. So these system calls are responsible for process management. Process management means for a creating a process, terminating, right? So creating the process or terminating the process, everything will be having the system calls of process control. And the next one, file management file management and these system calls are responsible for file manipulations file manipulations so we will be working on different files because the files will be having the data so we will be working on the files so file creation file creation, reading, writing, etc. So all these are the responsible system calls of a file management. Then the next one, device management. So this, these system calls are responsible for device manipulations. So like uh, writing the data, to the buffers, reading the data from the buffers the input and output buffers, right? So for all these things, these system calls will be used, device management. So first one, process control, regarding the process management, file, file management system calls, these are responsible for all the file manipulations and device management system calls are responsible for device manipulations. So if, if our program wants to write the data into a buffers or read the data from the buffers, then we'll use the system calls of this device management. And the next one, information maintenance, information maintenance. And this is responsible for all the information which is being passed from operating system to the software, right? So. information being shared between 
process i mean processes or operating system whatever it may be so whatever the information we are exchanging that information details will be maintained by the i mean that will be done with the help of the system calls of information maintenance system calls and the next one communication and this is responsible for ipc ipc means inter process communication inter process communication so in order to communicate between different process or establishing the connections between the processes from one system to another system so whatever it may be so the communication will be depending upon this system calls will be achieved with the help of these system calls communication system calls so these are the five categories of system calls so first one is a process control system calls a file management uh, system calls device management system calls information maintenance system calls and a communication system calls so different operating systems will be having a different system calls so i will show you the example of all these things by comparing with the windows and the linux so i will write the system calls first so process control and then file management device management information maintenance communication so these are the five different system calls five different system calls so now we'll see the what why how the system call will be and example for uh, let us consider the windows in windows how the system calls will be represented and uh, in linux how the system calls will be represented right windows and linux so coming to the process control we have seen this is responsible for process creation so here the system calls are create process here the system calls are similar to our methods methods or functions so create process exit process okay and in linux we'll be using this as a fork for creation okay and uh, wait wait exit so all these are the different process i mean different system calls used in linux and these are the system calls used in windows operating system regarding this process control coming to the file management so read file write file so in order to apply the read operations and write operations we'll use a read file and write file for windows and simply we can use a read write open so all these are the different system calls available in linux come to the device this is a buffers right so read console write console write console these are the few system calls of device management and here again we'll use a simply read write right and the information maintenance so this means the information is being exchanged between different processes right so get current process id so in order to get the current process id right for every process there will be id right so in the previous session we have seen the i mean uh, all the system calls or uh, will be maintained in the system table similarly the process will also be having a different ids individual ids okay they will be maintained and by 
with the help of priority based upon the priority the process will be executed so get current process id sleep so these are the system calls of information maintenance and here simply there is a called a get pid sleep okay and alarm so these are the few system calls regarding this information maintenance okay and coming to the communication this is mainly used for communication purpose establishing the connection and uh, exchanging the information so establishing the connection it's a create pipe is a one system call regarding this communication and here we'll call it as a pipe simply a pipe so these are the very few system calls regarding all these things okay regarding the process control file management device management information maintenance and communication so these are the system calls represented in windows as well as in linux right so we'll see a few system calls how, what is the importance and how they were implemented right so we'll see the fork wait exit okay so let us see the a very few system calls so there will be a lot of system calls okay see coming to the fork so this fork system call is used to create a process if you want to create a process then we need to use this fork system call and so whatever the process it was created that will be called as a child process child process okay so if you want to create a process the the process from which it was created is called a parent process and the process create the created process is called the child process now here the parent process the parent process will be suspended suspended until a child process completes its execution until the child process completes its execution so whenever the child process is created immediately the parent process will be get suspended and it will wait until the child process completes its execution so after execution after executing child process then control goes to its parent process its parent process right so this fork system call is used to create a process so once a, a process was created that is called a child process okay so whenever the child process is created the parent process will be get suspended automatically until the child process completes its execution and after completion of executing the child process then immediately the control will go back to the parent process and the next one is wait so this is a related so wait means so immediately the so just now we have seen whenever the child process is created the parent process will get suspended and this process will be done with the help of wait system call and the parent process will be suspended using this wait system call so if the wait system call is executed automatically the parent process will be suspended right until the child process completes its execution and the next one exit exit so the name itself indicates exit means the process termination exit so it was used by program to terminate the execution in order to terminate the execution this exit system call will be used so whenever this exit system call is implemented automatically the program or a process will be terminated from the execution and similarly there is a one more uh, system call which is called a kill so it seems both are equal but there is a difference between the kill and exit 
so this was used by operating system to send termination signal termination signal to the process so if the process uh, i mean if the operating system wants to terminate the signal of a process immediately the operating system will call this kill system call okay there's a slight difference between exit and kill so exit is used by a program and the kill is used by operating system so this program to terminate the execution and this is used by operating system to send to send a termination signal to the process right so these are a very few system calls used in our operating system right so hope you got an idea about the system calls and uh, the different types of system calls process control system call file management device management information maintenance and communication system calls right if any program is being executed in the user mode if it wants any resources immediately it will create an interrupt here the interrupt is also called as a system call right the interrupt will be in the means of system call so immediately an interrupt will be generated that means a system call will be generated and it will be sent to the kernel space so the system call will be get executed in the protected kernel space no other application will be accessing the kernel space okay so this is the only way to enter into the kernel mode so that is a system call so once the system call is executed in the kernel mode immediately it will get back to the user mode okay so in the kernel mode it it will maintain some a table of system calls and based upon the priority the system calls will be get executed so the system calls are different types so that we have seen in this session so hope you understood this one and uh, if you are having any i i mean any doubts regarding this one uh, feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching Thank you very much.